question number 17 the first term of an arithmetic progression AP is equal to the first term of a geometric progression GP the second term of the AP is equal to the fourth term of the GP while the tenth term of the AP is equal to the seventh term of the GP part A given that A is the first term and D is the common difference of the AP while R is the common ratio of the GP write the two equations connecting AP and GP for any arithmetic progression the nth term is given is a plus n minus 1 multiplied by the common difference d and for the GP the nth term is given as a multiplied by the common ratio r raised to n minus 1 so now with those expressions we can be able to write two equations connecting the AP and the GP we are told that the second term of the AP is equal to the fourth term of the GP so the second term of the AP will be written as a plus 2 minus 1 which is 1 multiplied by D to give us D is equals to the fourth term of the GP fourth term and the fourth term will be written as a multiplied by r power 4 minus 1 which is 3 call this equation number 1 then our equation number 2 is from the next statement where we are told that the tenth term of the AP is equal to the seventh term of the GP so the tenth term of the AP will be written as a plus 10 minus 1 which is 9 multiplied by the common difference D is equals to a we want the seventh term so it is a multiplied by the common ratio power 7 minus 1 which is 6 call this equation number 2 and we've answered part A of the question part B we are told to find the value of R that satisfies the progressions so we are going to solve these two equations simultaneously to be able to get the value of R we can make we can make D the subject of the formula in the first equation we have D is equals to a R raised to 3 minus a then we substitute the value of D in equation number 2 so it will become a plus D that is 9 multiplied by D and the value of D is a r raised to 3 minus a and this is equal to a r raised to 6 we can open the brackets to have a plus 9 a r raised to 3 minus 9 a is equals to a r raised to 6 collect the like terms together we have a minus 9a which is negative 8a so this can be written as 9a r raised to 3 minus 8a is equals to a r raised to 6 now we can rearrange this to be negative a r raised to 6 then plus 
नाइन ए आर क्यूब्ड माइनस एट ए इज इक्वल्स तू जीरो डिवाइड बाय ए डिवाइड बाय ए डिवाइड बाय ए एंड वी डिवाइड बाय ए बिकॉज़ इट इज कॉमन therefore we will have negative r raised to 6 plus 9 r cubed minus 8 is equals to 0 we can divide by negative 1 divide by negative 1 divide by negative 1 we divide by negative 1 so we have r raised to 6 minus 9 r cubed plus 8 is equals to 0 it has formed a quadratic expression so we can solve this as a quadratic equation so it is an a quadratic equation not expression where the product is 8 and the sum is equal to negative 9 so we are looking for two numbers whose product is positive 8 and the sum is negative 9 and these two numbers are negative 1 and negative 8 we rewrite the equation replacing negative 9 r cubed with negative 1 and negative 8 so we have r raised to 6 minus r cubed minus 8 r cubed plus 8 is equals to zero pair these and these ones so the common factor with r raised to six minus r raised to three will be r raised to three then inside the brackets we'll have r raised to three minus one then minus the common factor in eight r cubed and 8 is 8 so we have 8 into r cubed and now this operation becomes negative so we write a 3 here minus 1 is equals to 0 so we have r cubed minus 8 into r cubed minus 1 is equals to 0 either r cubed minus 8 is equals to 0 this means that r cubed is equals to 8 and the value of r is equal to the cube root of 8 which is 2 or r cubed minus 1 is equals to 0 and this means that r cubed is equals to 1 and r is the cube root of 1 which is 1 and we are going to pick this value of r which is 2 and not r is equals to 1 because when r is equals to 1 we cannot have a progressive series so now the value of r is equal to 2 part c we are told given that the tenth term of the GP is 5120 find the values of A and D so we have the tenth term of the GP written as A R raised to N minus 1 which is now 10 minus 1 to give us 9 and this is given as 5120 we have the value of r is 2 so we can have a into 2 power 9 is equals to 5120 2 power 9 gives us 512 so we have 512 a is equals to 5120 we divide by 512 we divide by 5 
112 so we have a is equal to 10 now with the value of a and r we can get the value of d because d is equal to a r cubed minus a from this expression so we have d is equals to 10 multiplied by 2 power 3 minus 10 2 power 3 gives us 8 we multiply by 10 and we have 8 minus 10 gives us 70 so the value of d is equal to 70 the last bit we are told to calculate the sum of the first 20 terms of the AP and the sum of the first n terms of the AP is given as n over 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by the common difference d. So now we are looking for the sum of the first 20 terms. It will be given by 20 over 2 into 2 multiplied by a and the value of a is 10 plus our n is 20 20 minus 1 gives us 19 then we multiply by our d which is 70 so we have by 2 1 by 2 10 10 into 20 plus if we take 19 multiplied by 70 we have 1330 then we add 20 to 1330 to get 1350 now we multiply these by 10 and our final answer will be 13000 500 which is the sum of the first 20 terms of our AP